couldn't help myself but come past the picture stand and see Amandine from Picture in France. Hi, Amandine, how are you? Hi, Rob, very well, and yourself? I'm great, I'm great, and so much colour, you know, that's the Definitely. first thing with Picture, right? Definitely, it's been always part of the design DNA for the past 15 years. Uh, the founder and designer was an architect, so he's been always very drawn towards the geometric shapes, the strong colours, the prints. We are here still sticking with this DNA. So far. We've known this brand for, I don't know, 10 or 15 years at least now. And mm -hmm. of course, what Picture is really, really known for is its kind of eco credentials, its sustainability side, its recyclable uh, clothing. Yeah. But what's new in that side of things? Okay, so you're mentioning it right. The brand started 15 years ago by crafting products from recycled bottles. So it was recycled polyester. But we're always looking for the next. Uh, less carbon emitting solution. So a couple of years okay. ago, we moved to the bio source uh, polyester, which was made from sugarcane waste. But starting from last winter, we're now using circular polyester. So every oh, yeah. coat that you see with this little embroidery here are made from previous garments. So we okay. use factory of cuts and recycled garments as well to craft our products so we can cut the waste, uh, textile waste on the planet. And is that almost like the whole jacket or is it part of the jacket that's made of those recyclable materials? Oh, the whole face fabric the is whole made. Yes, the whole face fabric is circular polyester whenever the coat is mentioning it okay. over there. Whenever you've got this, this no. brand on here, this logo. The circular. Uh, the circular. Yes. And is it like literally like people sweeping up the factory floors of uh, old, uh, old clothes or kind of like, you know, begging and stealing off of uh, factory workers that have got old garments to make this stuff or is there a bit more of a process? No, it's a bit more of a process. It's okay. a bit less DIY. So it's right. made of factory of cuts from yeah. not only picture but multiple brands so okay. whenever they do the cuts for a jacket they're always left with scraps so this is being used and also we're using recycled uh, uniforms from workers you know in asia they use a, a lot of uniforms to right. work in the factory yeah. and they change them quite often which creates a tremendous amount of waste so we're wow. recycling them into uh, making new garments it's quite cool to think you're actually wearing something that a factory worker in china might have had part of you know it's kind of in its dna right it's pretty cool. Um, so just before this, we were having a chat about the new laws that are coming through in California, mm -hmm. starting at the beginning of this year, 2024, Absolutely. that really restrict uh, the sort of nasty things you can find in, in clothing, right? Absolutely. And, you know, obviously you said to me, picture, have dealt with that, it's fine. You, mm -hmm. you can supply anyone in California because you already comply with those regulations. Absolutely. But are we going to see that sort of rolling out uh, mm -hmm. from here into other places as well? You might see it here. Yeah, well, uh, obviously, as you mentioned, it just started in California now. And, uh, you know, in, in the States, it's just going to be a matter of time till it spreads throughout the entire territory. Yeah. And this law is a, it's a PFAS, uh, PFOS ban, which is all okay. PFCs. Uh, Picture has been PFC free now for the past seven years, both in terms of membrane and in terms of water repellent treatment. So we're already okay. super compliant so just to clarify, with this one. PF3 PFC is a kind of chemical, it's a pleurofluorocarbon, I think, yes, yeah, something like that, it. Yeah. Um, which <laughs> used to be used a lot in treating uh, materials. A lot of companies have removed it, but obviously still some companies are mm -hmm. still using it, but not picture, right? Absolutely. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a chemical PFC that people use and apply on the garments, so it stays water repellent. And yeah. we've been moving on to more sustainable solutions seven years ago. Okay. And uh, some membranes as well in the garments do include PFC, but ours do not. And um, in the market, there's a membrane leader that we have not been working with so far because of their PFC-based membranes. Yeah. But it turns out that thanks to this new California law, they have been uh, crafting a new membrane called Gore-Tex EPE okay. that we have been implementing so far uh, yeah. for the first year on the gloves right. for testing. So what's cool about these ones is it's, it's black, it's unisex, it's super durable, and they retail at uh, 95 pounds, which is a great price point for a Gore EPE pair of EPE. gloves, which is the sustainable Gore alternative. And then okay. it's only going to be a matter of time until we develop that into our jacket segment, because right. it's the most performance uh, you can find. So just to be clear, a lot of people, we know Gore-Tex. You know, Gore-Tex is a very, very famous membrane fabric that goes into clothing and gloves. Uh, it's a waterproof and breathable fabric. It has a great reputation for being very, very good quality. But yeah. you're saying the sort of normal Gore-Tex isn't very eco-friendly or not particularly eco-friendly. Um, or shall we say 
could be more eco-friendly and they've designed a, they have designed and made now a new eco-friendly Gore-Tex material. Absolutely. I'm not saying anything about the regular Gore membrane. I'm just saying okay. that it does not match our sustainability standards. Yeah. But now that Gore has come up with this EPE solution which is aligned with our uh, sustainability standards and DNA, we're we're starting to onboard and and work with them. I mean that's pretty cool, isn't it? Because I think um, it is such a good you know, such a good membrane and, and we know it and trust it. Yes, and the I customer do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that looks like a really cool ski glove as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, what's that? Uh, that's, a, that's a high durability palm there. Yes, you've palm got... there. Then you've got like the leather uh, compatible okay. at the very end. Yeah. You've got a little uh, adjustment to cinch it here and nice. you can also add a little... Uh, little pocket for like a hand warmer. Hand warmer. Uh, okay, that looks really good. Right, so we've looked at gloves. Uh -huh. What about ski touring? Does Pitcher do any kind of ski touring jackets or ski trousers? Because I know it as a, a sort of alpine ski brand. Mm -hmm. Touring. Yeah, it's true that it started as a more of a pissed brand. Yeah. But for the last couple of years, we've developed a lot this backcountry touring segment. Okay. And actually, I wanted to show you our uh, welcome export jacket, three layer. Yeah. So what's cool about this jacket, uh, other than being, of course, like your traditional touring jacket, so super lightweight, like, sorry, fully taped seams. Yeah. So just like a technical really like jacket. Technical jacket. Right. But the coolest part about this one is the membrane that it features. So as I was mentioning, uh, we were looking for a sustainable alternative yeah. to the gold membranes that are currently on market. So for the last couple of years, we've been working with this export membrane. Okay. So export membrane has a performance that is equivalent to the Gore Pro, okay. except it's an oil-based membrane, oh. which doesn't include any type of PFCs. And also right. the way they create the pores in the membrane is by heating it and stretching it, okay. which means the pores in your membrane are much smaller than what you have on the market. And also the, the process is mechanical to create the pores because you heat and you stretch it. Yeah. So it's non-chemical and also it makes it more lightweight because you have less Feels thickness. light, feels quite soft as well, not yeah. too the, not yeah. too harsh. You know, like mm -hmm. some membranes can feel a little bit harsh. Mm. It's quite nice and soft, quite pliable. The Trico yeah. is a really nice hand fill on this right. one as well. It's okay. been one of our key styles for the past couple of years. Okay. Definitely been showing nicely. So quite a nice ski touring jacket. You've got venting on the side as well. Absolutely. Really nice open vents there. Uh, very, very lightweight jacket. Tape seams It is super light, actually. It is yeah. very light. Do you know the water? Do you know the data on that on the waterproof breathability side? Do you know it, what it is? It's going to be uh, 25k, 20k, 25, which 20. Is, okay. Yes, 2520, which is our highest uh, waterproofness breathability in the range. Okay, so really breathable actually, uh, yeah, and definitely. high level of waterproofness as well. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Well, it's been really, really interesting speaking to you about picture today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, we Robert. We will look out for all of that sustainability stuff coming through. Really interesting to learn about that new law today in California. Absolutely. I didn't know about that until today, yes. so thanks very much for that. You're welcome, Robert. Thank you.